only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. And it's complete. Over the middle to Clark. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive there, he hits the reliable target. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it 20. in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there and they were able to successfully complete that one. And he'll be out of bounds, able to take it down to the 40. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play-action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones have to determine run or pass and get to the proper places on the field. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They'll get 19 yards there. And it'll give the Patriots a first down. By 20! 20! On first and 10, here's Brady. He'll get it in the hands of Clark, complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. In the red zone this time. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, the speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And that was a really nice play, to be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people Good off point. of him, allowed Good him point. to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Now Brady throwing on second down. This will be caught just inside the 10. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make it third down. Oh, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Defense sinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Throwing is Brady on third down. This is caught. Watkins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Sammy Watkins from six yards away. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You're probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect. But overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. Will Fuller was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Hoyer. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Back now in Foxborough 
All even as we get ready to start the fourth. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll come out in the pistol. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Two Patriots there to bring him down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They were looking to get it to Kelvin Benjamin there. Third down here. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. So third and seven and an extra defensive back on the field here. Definitely want to play coverage here. Complete, he finds Bray. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Patriots will get a new set of downs. Now Hoyer. Caught. It's Cruz left side. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here we go now. Green, 39. All right, now, look at 56. Hoyer. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. That's a really right, fine play there six. because anytime you see six. a comeback route, that means you cannot just stay in one spot and make a play on the ball. You've got to move your feet and move with right. the receiver, and that's exactly what he did. They're going to look to throw. It's complete right side to Benjamin. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like, he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive only yields three points. Yeah, they were able to move the football, but the defense stiffened once their backs were to the end zone, and they were able to hold them to just three. Here's Cooks on the return. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Throw left side, completion to Rice. Give him 27 yards that time. And it gives the Pats a first down. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Happy two. On second down, Ivory. And he'll push his way up to about the 14. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. And now they're in the hurry up. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add it a little extra at the end with a short run. Can we go back to the days where if you tapped your wrist as a quarterback, that just meant you're going to spike the ball, not fake spike it and try and get something downfield? They just tried it there and it wasn't successful, but I know what you're thinking. Right. Dan Marino, Jets, 90s. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Jerry Rice. 
from three yards out. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. What a game this has turned out to be, and what a touchdown right there. How about when scheme and talent match up? Because they absolutely had to have that when they had to find their way into the end zone to take the lead. They get it to their wide receiver. He gets that done for them. And now they get to look at their defense and say, guys, make it stand up. Now, that's the only way it would have been more ideal is if you put it in the end zone with one second or zero seconds on the clock. But beggars can't be choosers. Not at all. And whose heart wants to deal with that anyway? Go ahead and score while you've got the opportunity. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. So here we go, first and ten now. I hear it. Back to throw. Underneath here to Hill. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Hey, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. He'll look to throw. Benjamin with it over the middle. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. And the offense moving quickly to the line. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think. He takes it across for the touchdown. And they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. So how many practices have we watched over time where the offense Let's works go. on scoring Grand late in the game the and finding a way to win, as we just saw there? Just saw it right there. Now can they preserve that advantage that they just got? So they're unable to stretch it to a three-point lead. Now you got to be careful on the kickoff because the field goal obviously beats you. Definitely, and that's why they went for two. They wanted to make sure a field goal wouldn't beat them. Now they're in a position where they've got to cover well and make sure they don't get into range and put one through the post. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range? Or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. They'll look to throw. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right? The overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that. Th and that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I can't help but marvel at how calm these field goal kickers seem to be in situations like this. You know, I'm shaking up here like a leaf, and I don't have to kick it. <laughs> the Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. 
Thinking back to 2015, didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened.